If your forehand is wobbly, weak, or inconsistent, then this video is for you. If you like educational disc golf videos about form, posture, and technique, please hit that like button and leave a comment in the comment section down below so I know to create more content like this. The first thing we're going to address in today's video is going to be the wobble. And I cannot tell you how many times I have seen talented disc golfers who throw amazing backhand shots on each and every course. And then you see them line up a forehand and it looks like a completely different player. I think a lot of this has to do with the way that they're holding the disc, not only their grip, but also the amount of pressure they're putting into their fingers and also the angle of their forearm in relation to their wrist. What's going to cause wobble is any force you put on the disc that's not in the direction that you're trying to throw the disc in. So any pressure or inconsistencies that's gonna cause the disc to move like this or like this while you're throwing, so down or up, mid throw is gonna cause the disc to come out of your hand and flop through the air like this. I'm sure I don't need to show you guys because I'm sure you've seen it or if you're watching this video, you probably already do it. So what we're going to do is make sure that we have a nice firm grip on the disc. Let me show you what grip that I use and then I'll explain how I'm actually putting pressure through my hand. So I'm holding the disc with a two finger stat grip where I'm putting an emphasis on having the pad of my finger actually in the inner rim like this. And I'm just taking my index finger and stacking it on top exactly like that. A lot of you guys are probably having the bottom, the pad of your finger on the bottom of the flight plate like this. This is no bueno, this is not good, this is ineffective and not gonna help you get better at forehand shots. Turn that hand, not only is that going to give you a more solid grip and help your throws be less wobbly, but it's also gonna help you access the full range of motion of what your wrist is capable of. It's gonna help you add a lot more spin and power to your shot because now, instead of having the bottoms of your fingers and you're only getting this little serve the pizza motion, we're now getting a full range of motion of the wrist where we can plant and boom, follow through on that shot. Now, how much grip am I actually holding with my fingers? I would say about 50 to 60% of how hard I can possibly squeeze. So right now I'm squeezing the disc as hard as I possibly can. I'm just gonna reduce that by about 50%. Now, one other thing that I've never really heard someone think about, but I think is very important, is actually trying to press down with the thumb and press up with these two fingers on the bottom of the disc so you have a relatively equal distribution of pressure going through the disc. Again, we're trying to avoid the disc being pushed in this uh, downward or upward direction while we're throwing the disc. So I hope that's helpful for you. I hope you can give that a try and I hope you can throw less wobbly shots with that knowledge. So now that we've handled the wobbles and your grip, let's talk about power. Just like on the backhand throw, when you're doing your walk up, you're gonna walk, you're gonna take a step, plant your foot and have a reach back and pull through your shot, you essentially need to do the same thing on the forehand, but the plant looks very different. On a backhand shot, your plant foot essentially is perpendicular to your target. This gives you the most surface area to press against and stop your body from moving forward so you can use your lower body and generate power through your shot. Now we do something very similar on the forehand throw, but the biggest difference is that the plant foot on your left foot, so on your forehand, is going to be planted somewhere relatively facing towards your target, which would be an absolute no-no on your backhand shots. So if you were to plant your foot like this on a backhand, your hips are gonna be totally open, you're gonna get no power, and you're probably gonna release the disc somewhere over there. But on a forehand shot, this is not the case. I see a lot of people line up their forehands sideways, plant with a lateral foot, and then try and yank it across like this, which looks unathletic because it is unathletic, and it's not a good way to throw your forehand shots. So we wanna take this foot, this plant foot, we wanna take it from here, we wanna point it essentially right towards your target. So now when you walk up to your shot, we're gonna use the same grip we talked about earlier. We're gonna plant with our foot facing the target, and boom, we can rip that shot straight down the fairway. So I'm really trying to focus on having this plant foot as straight as I can. And if you have a nice strong plant on your forehand, just the way you do your backhand, you're gonna get a ton more power on your shot. Very similar to the X step and plant on backhand. We can use a little uh, crow hop 
to have a nice boom plant on your forehand shot. So that's going to address a wobbly forehand and a weak forehand. Now let's address the inconsistent forehanders out there. I have two polar opposite discs here. I have a Discraft Meteor and I have an Orion LF. Now the Orion LF is a very overstable nine speed disc that basically, as long as I stay within an acceptable margin of error on my forehand shot, this overstable disc allows me a little bit of wiggle room to make a certain level of mistake without actually getting punished for it. Almost no matter how I throw this disc, it's going to find its way on a left to right moving line. So I like to bag discs accordingly based on the mistakes I think I might make. So if I wanna throw a shot where I wanna land near that bridge over there, I wanna throw a nice overstable disc that's gonna to want to finish from left to right. Now on the other side of things, let's say I wanna throw a forehand that moves from right to left, we're gonna throw a much more understable disc being the meteor. Almost no matter how I throw this disc, as long as I put it up in the air and I trust it, it's gonna find its way on a right to left moving line. We'll let the walkers go and then I'll show you guys how it works. So let's throw the meteor first. We'll throw it on that up high, right to left moving line, throwing a disc that's so understable to where you know exactly how it's gonna fly. And as long as you don't throw it too wobbly, it should fly pretty well. And then we'll throw the uh, left to right moving shot with the Orion. So we'll go right to left first. And that's gonna be kind of that textbook understable forehand where the disc through most of the flight at least is traveling um, from right to left. And as long as you're throwing with the right grip and you're not throwing it wobbly, the understable disc should really start flying well for you. And then we'll throw the uh, Orion on the left to right moving line. So I like to stay away from like tweener discs, like something like, let's say an Axiom Crave where it may flip up and flip all the way over, or it may stay on hyzer and not flip at all. I'd rather bag discs like the Meteor and the Orion to where I know exactly what they're going to do, and to get it to do what I want, there's an acceptable margin of error. So as far as disc selection goes, that's gonna be the best way for you to have the most consistency out on the course. And we'll throw one max distance shot here, and then we'll wrap up the video for today. But let me know in the comment section down below if one of these kind of three topics and breakdowns of each topic was helpful for you. I have a ton of form tips, not only on forehand, but also on backhand that I would like to continue to share with you guys, but make sure you let me know in the comment section down below if you like this type of content. Let's throw the uh, Royal Strive here and we'll go max distance bomb ski through the sprinkler. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, that made it all the way to the pickleball court. That's probably right around 440, 450, a little too much turn, but you get the idea. So if your forehand is weak, wobbly, or inconsistent, I hope this video was helpful for you. I know when I was learning disc golf, there wasn't a lot of great content out there that just, in layman's terms, explained how to actually do better. And over the years, I've developed ways that help me do better out on the course. And I think it's relatively relatable, and I hope some, at least something in this video clicked for you. So let me know in the comment section down below. Shout out to my sponsors, Power Grip USA. You can use my code ICEBERG10 to save 10% on anything over at their website. All orders over $70 ship for free. My other sponsor, BergsDiscSports.com. You can get that Minty V4, the bag that I use. Casual runs, tournament play, best bag on the market. Use my discount code ICE20 to save 20% over there. It'll get you around $43, $44 off that V4. See you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching my channel. As always, I appreciate you and take care.